Okay, this tutorial is going to be how to add tattoos um, to both real life and anime pictures. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy the background layer on the real life picture and just image adjustments levels and just kind of mess around. If you like that, you can keep it or you can use different settings. I'm actually just going to put the first one on about 50% opacity. I like that, how it looks. Alright, um, basically you prime the picture now. Googled uh, tattoo stock and right click copy the image. So in Photoshop, let's just edit paste. And first thing I'm going to do for the real life photo is I'm just going to get rid of the white. Now this picture has white as a part of the tattoo itself, like in its horns and everything. So I'm just going to manually click the white and just keep pressing delete. Otherwise if, otherwise, if you don't, you can just use right click similar over and over and over again until you get all the white. And you don't have to be real exact with this. If you have some white left over, it's, it's okay. Um, we're going to be blurring it anyways, so we just need the big chunks of white. Okay. Um, obviously, there's still some white there, but I'm not really worried about it. Next thing I'm going to do is going to stretch it. So it fits on this picture better. So edit, retransform, hold the shift key down, and pull a corner. Now hold, keep holding the shift key until you're done. Otherwise, um, if you don't, it'll like snap into some weird shape. Yeah, it doesn't like me. And it does that to me all the time. I put the whole tattoo on my arm. There we go. And double click. And it's a little bit flat looking, so I'm going to go to Free Transform or Transform Warp. And I'm just going to move the little boxes around until I'm happy. And then you can always right click Free Transform anyways. I'm satisfied with that. Now, I'm going to zoom in a bit. I'm going to go to Filter, Blur, the G Blur that I cannot pronounce. I know you guys have tried to help me pronounce it. I fail, though. Really, really bad. This is blurred by about three pixels. Uh, I think it needs a little bit more. But there we go, 3.5. In the first layer, I want to actually put on Soft Light. Lower the opacity a bit. Now I'm going to duplicate that layer. Put this one on multiply, and yet again, just kind of mess with the opacity t till you see fit. There we go, and I think that looks pretty decent. You know, it's not perfect. It's really hard to get it perfect. It would take a whole lot more time than I have. Um, if you want some help blending it in, either use you know image adjustments levels. Or curves. I'm not very fond of curves because it gets on my nerves. Um, anyways, I'm going to use a burn tool on midtones, about 25% to start. And I'm just going to burn the tattoo where the shadows on my arm is. Because I have very round arms. And then a dodge tool, midtones, 25% again down the middle to get. That'll just help it have the shape of my arm better and I'm pretty satisfied with that I'm just gonna merge visible if you're not satisfied you know just um, image adjustment levels until it blends in better or um, levels them when they're all done together and to blend a little bit more if you have anything overlapping, either use the eraser tool or the polygonal lasso. And you, you'll do a better job if you have a better quality picture than I have. 
but that's the technique and I've even googled it because I looked at mine and I'm like this doesn't look very good I googled other tutorials on how to do it they do it the same way I do and their um, end result comes out looking pretty much just like mine does so I'm kind of limited on ways to do that there's also tattoo brushes that you can use and download from deviantart.com but I prefer just to google Tattoo stock. Anyways, edit paste onto the anime picture. And for this one, I'm actually gonna, yeah, I'll get rid of the white again. So that'll just take me one second. Okay, so I'm pretty satisfied with the amount of white I got rid of. Edit free transform. Same thing we did before, except shift and make it smaller. I'm just going to put this one on her th thigh. I'm going to put this on her thigh, kind of overlapping the pants and like the background and everything. I'm right click, warp again, like we did before, and we're just going to mess with a little... I'll do a tutorial on free transform and what I know about it a little bit later, but I'm just going to click and drag the squares until I'm satisfied and then move it around just a little bit okay I'm happy with that now first of all uh, I'm pretty happy with it but it's still really really sharp from shrinking so I'm just gonna blur it a bit and on this picture 3.5 pixel blur is obnoxious so 0.3 is what I'm going to use. I'm going to put it this on multiply and lower the opacity. And then I'm going to get rid of everything that is not on the skin. You know, if you only want certain elements of the tattoo, go and chop out the other elements. I'm just chopping out everything that where the tattoo should not end up. Hmm. And that's the easiest way to, ha to add a tattoo. Just multiply or linear burn depending on how dark the picture is. Um, or if you're a bit of an overachiever and you have gotten rid of the white, if you're just going to do a multiply or linear burn, you know, totally ignore getting rid of the white. It's not going to show up anyways. But if you want to tweak it a little bit more, get rid of the white so you can copy the layer and put it on soft light. Actually, I can put that under and mess with the opacity, image adjustments, hue saturation. I'm just going to hike up the lightness so that the white of the horns and the eyes and such are lighter in contrast to the skin tone. In just a black and white tattoo, you're probably not going to want to worry about that. Let's see, let me zoom in. You can see the lightness it gives that, which with a colored tattoo like this, you might want to put the extra effort in to do that. But just mess with the opacity of those, those two layers and you can get a pretty decent looking tattoo. Alright, I think that covers it, so... Let me zoom in a little bit. That is on the anime picture. And that is on the real life picture. 